How's it going, my sinners? Welcome back to another great video here on, that's right, you guessed it, The Savior Show. And yes, that's right, I am that narcissistic, but I'm playing my own song. So, today, boyos, I'm going to show you my hotel, my expensive Airbnb in Japan, just like you know who. That's right, because today we're going to be talking about hiding in my room. So stick around and enjoy the first episode ever on the Savior channel of content abuse. Let's get sexy now. <laughs> Ooh, jazzy. Ooh. Yeah. What's poppin', my sinners? Welcome back to the hyperactive 420 YouTuber friendly, family friendly, and aggressive, and energetic, uh, ooh, ooh, YouTuber, Logan Paul here, yeah, welcome back. Or should I say, I should speak more in a monotone voice, like this. Welcome back, my sinners, to another great video here on the Hiding in My Room channel. Today we're going to talk about how depressing my life is, and how I... Uh, just have sex with old ugly women on hiding in my room with almost a hundred thousand subscribers Are you jealous, savior? Is that why you're making this video? Ha! <laughs> of course not! I'm not fucking jealous Okay, I'm not jealous Anyway, in the typical fashion of hiding in my room Let's do a little bit of humble bragging and show off my Japanese Airbnb And then we're gonna deep dive in to Content Abuse Episode 1, Hiding in My Room. Alright boys, so welcome to my fancy Japanese Airbnb. Hey, that's right, I'm showing it off. Please, my music company, please pick up on this. Anyway, we have a nice projector for home cinema YouTube professionalism, a nice Iron Man poster, a nice fancy bathroom and toilet or whatever. Bathroom is in here and then we've got this massive double bed which me and my lovely sexy young, shall I say, who's only 21 years old, Japanese girlfriend will be sharing. Not 40 Daniel, that's right you can actually come to Japan and have sex with girls who aren't 40 years old or aren't already married. Whoa, that's a shock. Amazing. Anyway, just a little humble brag like Daniel hiding in my room does. Anyway guys, enjoy the video. I hope you like this new series of content abuse and stay tuned for more. Content abuse. It's the new series and it started now. Today I'm going to show you my fancy Airbnb in Japan, just like our first target hiding in my room, aka Daniel, the king of soy boys, the king of just absolute filth. We're going to dive into the cesspool and come with me for an epic, epic adventure. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I'm not crazy. I'm in Japan and I'm living it up. What are you going to do, bitch? You gonna sue me? No. Now let's uh, let's just listen to the song so I get a you know copyright strike for my own music company because that's how low I am as a small independent YouTuber because I don't get ad revenue. You know what? Fuck you, YouTube. I don't give a shit because I'm gonna get ad revenue either way. You can't stop me. You can't stop the savior. You can't stop us from rising. And today on content abuse, we're gonna take down the lowest, the lowest of content that there is to be found on this dark, dark website. Welcome, my sinners, to the first episode of Content Abuse. That's right. Today, our target is going to be hiding in my room. That's correct. Now, I know I look absolutely narcissistic and crazy because there's a savior dancing within the savior, but I assure you it's not because I'm absolutely narcissistic. Well, of course I am, because I'm a YouTuber. But it's also just because I don't get claimed by any other videos, so I'm using my own on this amazing projector, okay? 
Also, if I do have a stroke midway through the video, don't be surprised because there's like a thousand lasers right now shining into my face. So I might have an epilepsy, an epileptic attack, okay? I wouldn't be surprised. In fact, I'm starting to feel a bit fucking not bleh, right now, okay? So I, you know, just if this is the last video I ever make, just make sure to share it, make sure that my legacy doesn't go unheard and people hear of my music and all that good stuff. Anyway, let's not ramble any longer. Let's talk about hiding in my room, aka Daniel, okay? So with the content abuse series, I'm just going to give you a quick little uh, detail about what this series is about. I'm going to find any kind of content. It doesn't have to be YouTube. It can be mainstream media, it can be films, it can be television, it could be news, it could be absolutely anything, okay? And I'm going to basically tear it a new hole, okay? I'm going to destroy it and tell you why it absolutely sucks, why it's brainwashing you, why the, you know, the, the corporate bullshit is just seeping into your brain and making you a worse person. And the same goes for really bad YouTube channels, okay? So, let's talk about Hiding in My Room, okay? Now, Hiding in My Room is a channel about a British guy like myself, okay? He's also from the UK, and he's come to Japan. He's 30 years old, 30, 30, around in his 30s, okay? Although he looks like he's about 14. And I know how that feels because I look pretty young for my age as well, but I'm only 22. I know, Daniel, that must really hurt you, but it's okay, it's okay. It's not like, you know, I've done so much more of my life at the age of 22 than you have. I know, it's okay, but, you know, I'm sorry, man, it's just the way the world works. Anyway, Daniel is a 30-year-old man who is going through, basically, I would say a midlife crisis, but sadly, it's not a midlife crisis, it's just a life crisis, okay? His whole life is just one big crisis, okay? So basically, he's a very introverted guy, which, you know, like, when you first watch his channel, you can kind of be like, oh, you know what, I kind of identify with him, I kind of understand where he's coming from, because a lot of his audiences are shy, introverted kind of people, and I used to be like that myself. Obviously not anymore, but I used to be. Um, anyway, so yeah, he used to get bullied a lot, he didn't really have any kind of life whatsoever. But he did build a successful YouTube channel, and for that, I, you know, I do give him props. Um, but the problem is, his YouTube channel is absolute garbage, okay? Now, first of all, let me just... The main reason, one of the biggest reasons I have a problem with hiding in my room is because... Not because of the weird content he puts out, because I believe you can put out any kind of content that you wish, okay? Even if it does insult and hurt other people. You know, it's a free world. But, what I have a huge problem with is he puts zero effort, absolutely zero effort, into his videos, okay? He edits them with free programs, even though he's got almost 100,000 subscribers now. He just videos himself talking, usually in a mirror, and I know I'm kind of doing a similar thing right now, but that's because it's kind of like a parody, but... It's just absolutely zero effort, absolutely the, the least amount of effort you can put into making a video. And, you know, when making music, it's obviously, it takes a long, long time. And, you know, even making videos like this, it's not exactly easy, even though it is easier. But, you know, he could actually put effort into his vlogs, effort into his editing, and do more drawing and stuff like that, and his channel would be a lot more bearable. So that's point number one. Point number two, okay, is Daniel is 30 years old and he acts like basically a, a spoiled little man-child, okay? So the story of his life is, and please don't go and watch his channel, my sinners, okay? I don't want to give him more attention. I just want to talk about, you know, content abuse. And we're starting off with Daniel, okay? But basically what he did was he had no luck, no love life, or anything like that before um, he just used to live in England. So he decided to move around, go to different countries, uh, but he's, he hasn't actually traveled that much. He's only been to basically uh, a few countries, and one of them that he keeps coming back to is Japan. Okay, so you may sound like, oh, Savior, what, what's the problem? It kind of sounds like kind of similar to what you've done, but 
Okay, here's the big, the big issue. Okay, now I've lived in Japan for around seven months. Okay, so let me just first say I know what I'm talking about when it comes to Japan. Okay, now Daniel has had around ten to thirteen lovers. Okay, but none of them have been attractive. None of them have been young. None of them have been healthy, productive relationships. Okay, we've all been with middle-aged women, absolutely disgusting looking. No offense, I'm not, you know, it's not all about looks. I'm not saying that, but, you know, he hasn't exactly done well for himself. He just spreads this absolute toxic vibe throughout the internet, okay? And obviously, most people watching him just absolutely hate him. This horrible growing incel community that you probably all know about. And, you know, what he's doing is basically just spreading positivity, towards that community, you know, spreading absolutely, you know, kind of like vile behavior towards women um, and telling, you know, really personal stories. Now, you can say personal stories on YouTube. Like I said, I'm not an advocate of silencing, you know, different types of content and speech. But, you know, when it comes to sharing out personal information about people that, you know, they don't want to be in your videos, like, for instance, when I was with a girl in one of my vlogs, I had to blur her face. One type of content that is him moaning and complaining about his life, that's it, even though he could be doing a lot more interesting videos like drawing and stuff like that. Um, he shares out personal details with people that don't want their you know information shared with the whole world. So that's two reasons. And third, he's just an overall just unlikable person and he puts zero effort into his content. Um, so that's my first episode of content abuse with hiding in my room aka Daniel. I just wish that he would actually focus on making better content, not share horrible stories about you know his past and his exes because you know we could all go into detail about you know, things we've done bad in the past. I mean, God knows I've got a lot of stories, but I'm not going to share personal stories that, you know, will just kind of ruin other people's lives and my life. That's just really dumb. And, you know, Daniel, okay, you've obviously got a lot of insecurities and a lot of self-hatred towards yourself, but, you know, you can aim a little higher for yourself than middle-aged women and just you know, degrading them and just spewing hatred, basically, because that's all your channel does. Anyway, keep doing what you do, but, you know, maybe put some more effort into your videos, that would be good. And, um, yeah, okay, that's pretty much all I have to say about hiding in my room. His channel is just one big freak show, and everyone likes to watch a freak show, and that's why it's so goddamn good, but it's also absolutely terrible, so please don't watch it. Anyway guys, this was my first episode of content abuse. Obviously it needs a lot of work. Obviously I need to detail my points a lot better and structure the video a lot better. But this is the first episode so you know it's gonna improve over time. Anyway guys, I'm actually coming back to the UK now uh, for a few months before I come back to Japan. Um, so I will be making more videos talking about Japan and stuff like that. And when I come back, there'll be other videos revolving Japan. But now that I'm going to come back to the UK in a couple of days, I'm going to be making a lot more videos, a lot more music. So stay tuned. And yeah, God bless you, my sinners. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, peace.